How many stupid sound effects do I need to use to get you guys to buy, buy, buy SVB Signature Bank? Don't worry, man. The other banks are fine. They're made out of bricks. Strong bricks. They got safes there. They're well protected, man. The bank literally collapsed on him! We all saw it! Look, it's raining money! I told you things were great. The end is near. Again. This time, I just know it. Bad stuff, man. Paul Ehrlich? Seriously? 60 minutes? You're putting Paul Ehrlich on? Who's Paul Ehrlich? He's like the OG Greta Thunberg. Ehrlich is best known for his book, The Population Bomb. For decades, he's been making Malthusian predictions of global famine and the end of the world. Thankfully, none of his stupid claims have ever come true. The truth is, the list of predictions the experts have gotten wrong is endless. Two weeks to stop the spread, everyone in Sweden's going to die from not locking down. Y2K, the Mayan calendar in 2012, late stage capitalism. But if these experts keep getting everything wrong, why do they still get to be in politics or on TV? Well, I'll admit, they do make entertaining television. There's definitely a mass psychological component to it. Historically, people might have to actually walk back their predictions, like all the doomsdayers who have predicted the end of the world. But people are so desperate to believe in in-group predictions that they're willing to give failed prophets endless chances. Religions that have given a date to the end of the world and turn out to be wrong have largely disappeared or had to significantly change their tactics. Or at least make new vacation plans. But people who use catastrophic predictions to justify their political views never seem to go away. Why would they? When the only solution to these problems involves getting the government to do more. How many times has the government said, well, it would have been much worse had we not done something and gone along with these idiots? If people could actually predict the future, then it would make sense to give them tons of power over everyone's lives. But they prove time and time again that they can't. And people will usually tolerate a person being flat out wrong because they agree with the spirit of what they're saying. I guess it's okay to be wrong as long as you're right. Something like that. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that subscribe button, leave us a like, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Share this around with your friends. Help the channel grow. It's a little poem I wrote.